You leave town passing multiple beware monster signs that Ash tells you to disregard. You exit into a slightly forested area where every tree seems to appear identical to the last. There have been some remarkable cost-cutting measures going on here. Paper mache rocks and shit metal shrubbery? It's it's honestly, I can't even imagine how anybody buys it. Like, look, I I kind of throw my hands over to the left. Look at that! Look! That is literally the material they used to make the tree right there. Like in it there axes and just plywood everywhere? It's offensive to just look at. Do, it is! Do people, the fact that Do people buy they, this? They, yes! Well, sort of. They're scammed out of their life savings. Oh, so they're forced to believe it. Uh, no. I think they're eager to believe it. I've oh. never really understood the psyche you, of the you, people. You misunderstood. They're they're forced to believe it, so they don't go crazy. Uh, you know, over over the insane debt that they've put themselves into for such a trivial experience. Perhaps I think that. I think that could factor into it into a small part. However, I've just observed that they're all daft, horribly. Horribly daft. They built a tree with you, a tree. Have you met the human race before, Ash? Brave adventurers! Ugh. A man addresses you. Please, I'm having a huge problem with the large rats in my basement, we're and not... I could use the help of a few brave adventurers. Look, we're n- Do you we're n- think I'm, I'm afraid we're quite busy. busy. Listen. Is your basement a cave? Listen, listen, buddy. He pulls Marcus aside. I got rats in my basement, and if you don't go down there, I'm going to put you down there. Look, Abacus, we're not adventurers. Why didn't you say so? I've been working here for like (laughs) six... Oh my god! I I... think I see another brave group of adventurers coming to help me with the rats in my basement. I see that man every day, and he gives me that same cell every time I walk past. Is his name actually Abbott? I don't know or care. Huh. You know, maybe if you showed him a little respect, he would do the same for you. Well said. I tried that the first several weeks that I was here. Huh. These signs are covered in scribbles that look almost like writing, but don't quite follow through. Um, yeah. It's made to look old, like, you know, worn. But it's really just... It's really just poorly done. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I'll... Down this way, uh... That's the woods of in-wonderment. Like, you know, being wondered. Of course. And then up north is the caves of the Pigback King. Of the The what? Sorry? Uh, A Pigback King. They taped a bat to a pig. Could it be... Hear me out. That... You created the monster. I have no hand in creating the monsters. Not you. But, you know, you. <laughs> I'm just- we have no information, I'm just throwing it out there. I think what Gregor's trying to ask is if we have been sent to slay the Pigbat King. No, no. Pigbat King is something entirely else. If the Pigbat King was up- oh, uh, a uh, little refresher. The Pigbat King is kind of like this, you know, this fake creature they throw up and all the adventurers gather around and you gotta gang up to defeat it. But, um... No, hmm. he's not up right now. It, something else. Something else. Oh my god! Immediately down the path, you hear the sounds of intense battle, and by that I mean a man grunting and a sheep buying loudly. Have at thee! They begin the dance of death. The man fights off the sheep with the sword, driving it back into the woods. Hmm. Not just just keep walking. Business as usual, Ash. It's going pretty well this time, actually. I mean, what? It, honestly, uh, most of them die by now. Really? I'm feel, feeling pretty confident. In in that guy over there? In the adventure? No, in us. In us? Oh, no, yeah, of course, yeah. No, that guy looks as if he's losing now, actually. <laughs> Do you think we should... I, I glance over my shoulder. Think we should help him? No, no. Feral sheep are something that a man has to face on his own. On his own. That makes All of the sheep are sedated here. 
However, I am extremely confident in uh, our own expedition here. I believe that we should Brave have- adventurers, a man steps forward. I have a missive that you must deliver to my friend. He lives closer to town than I, and it is important that you deliver a message to him. However, I hear he's been having a rat problem lately. I hold on. And up, until I... you deal with those rats, he may be unwilling to speak to you. I hold out he my holds hand. Out a crumpled piece of paper and forces it into your open hand. I burn it to a crisp. He reaches into his pouch. Marcus, he's got like. He produces another roll of paper. My eyes are narrow. We're not my adventurers. Eyes narrow. We're not adventurers. I grab him by the shoulders. Well, We're not adventurers. Thank I, God, okay. Well, don't give him the wrong idea. Look. Oh, he's gone. Around, okay. around here, Gregor, you have to... You've got to pick up the language. While I understand that you definitely might pride yourself on being an adventurer, around here it means something else. Something different. Something worse. So we've just got to use it right and get everybody to use the right meaning. You know, take back the word. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, this is what they call the Cave of the Pigbat King. Yeah. Intriguing. You enter the Cave of the Pigbat King and are incredibly whelmed. <laughs> so, so well, so whelming. <laughs> the cave pairs down and you're assaulted by the smell of mold. Somehow the environment maintains its illumination, dis Despite the fact that it should be pitch dark. I I still can't figure it out. I still don't know how they do it. The, like, the mold look. smell or the illumination? Oh, no, I know how they do the mold smell. They come in here like every every other week or so and just kind of give everything a light misting. Uh, uh, yeah, the mold, the mold really takes care of itself. Mush mushrooms tend to do that. Uh, yeah, but no, but the lights, the lights, I just don't, I don't get it. Peculiar. Well, let's try and get to the bottom of this. I assume that the monster that we're meant to fight is towards the back of the cave. I uh, maybe. There's a false back. As you enter the, uh, the wide open area of the mine, you hear a bizarre sound echoing from behind the walls. Brave adventurers of Meadshire. Who dare venture into the cave of the pig bat king? Meatshire is a subsidiary of the Elrond Empire, all rights reserved. You dare face the trials of this forgotten mine? It depends what you mean by trials. Are there sheep in here? Because no. Send whatever trials you may have at us. We will quash them. Excellent. The forgotten soldiers of the Elrond Empire heed my call. Deploy the skeletons! From the wall, you see a bizarre white shape flying towards you, flopping about at high speeds. It slams into the ground, slides along the floor immediately in front of you, hits the wall, and shatters. Huh. Hey, that one made it out in one Some piece this skeleton time. Skeleton projectile? Well, it would appear we are victorious. Wait, wait, no, we got more skeletons. You're supposed to, you're supposed to fight, fight this. They're gone, aren't they? They're leaving. Oh, please come back. I feel kind of bad for the people working the jobs at this. Don't, twisted don't, don't. Look, there are too many people working here to feel bad for each and every one of them. You start now and you're just going to be feeling bad for the rest of your life. To the right, there's a sign labeled Lair of the Pig Bat King. Beware. To the left, there's the sign that says, Keep out, not Lair of the Pig Bat King. Ooh, Seriously, keep out. This. Don't go in here. Come on. Oh, I, it's this way, I'm guys. Just taking a pi no, I'm no. taking a Marcus? With the Pig Bat King. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious if you guys just take the, the pig bat, bat king? to a pig, or if it's more elaborate than that. Marcus. A, oh. I told you, he's, he's not up right now. This is... If he was... Up. I, I, every time I say up, I put my hands in the air and do finger quotes. He's not up. They haven't thrown him out of the walls. Look, see, there's nothing here. If the pig bat king was up right now, there would be some, uh, some idiot running around yelling about, 
Oh no, the pig bat king has returned from his hundred thousand years slumber to lay waste to the countryside. From behind the walls, you hear an echo. Yeah, so you tell him, Ash, we're on break right now. Yeah. Uh, from which direction did those voices come? Immediately behind you. I knock on the wall there. It is clearly hollow. I try and slide open the trap door. There is no trap door. The point of entry is clearly not from within the mine. Hmm. Well, it's a sh- it's a shit layer anyway. Let's get on with it. It is. There's nothing cool in this cave. There's nothing cool in Meadshire. You pass rolls and rolls of parchment displaying keep out, stay away. I'm going to gather up some of that, fold it up, and put it into my bag. That'll come in use. There is a lot. It has clearly been torn down and trodden upon multiple times. (sighs) After you, Ash, Gregor. Away! Whoa! You hear... You hear bizarre slurping sounds almost, followed by cracking noises. A creature sits with its back to you, clearly doing something hidden from sight. Guys, Three guesses? I'm like 75% sure that that isn't a sheep. I'll add 15 to that 75. Marcus, what's your input? That is not a sheep. Not even a little bit. I don't even know why we're having this conversation. You're right. This demands action. I try and get around here and get a peek as to what kind of creature this might be. I unsheath my blade, kind of nod to Marcus, letting him know that this is what's up. I waggle, oh, I waggle oh, my oh, fingers I'm elusively. Sure. Kind of like raise an eyebrow at him. What are you doing? I wink. It's all in the fingers. I turn from back your, to the monster. From your vantage point, Gregor. You notice that the monster is hunched over what appears to be a log, or some sort of long cylindrical wooden object. He has gathered up what appear to be bits of gross people insides, and is uh, lifting them up and shoving them in with the palm of his hand into the log. He shakes it, allowing the bits to fall down to the bottom. You hear a low hum. What do you see? I think he's making some sort of smoothie. He's what? I I look around at the dead bodies. He's what? Each body is missing uh, its abdominal section. It's been pulled out. All that remains is bone. Yeah, see? Okay. All these people are dead. You don't say! The creature (laughs) whirls around! (laughs) Marcus, you idiot! <laughs> I, I shrug and enter battle stance. We, we, we don't want any of your smoothie. Have at you! It tips its head back and forth, hefts the log onto its shoulder, and assumes a low stance. Shit. In a moment, the creature's form blurs. It appears before you, grabbing you right in the gut. Hmm, interesting. A good stomach. This would be perfect for my drum. <laughs> you can't have that! He gives you a squeeze. Uh, who is he squeezing right you. now? You! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who do you think? <laughs> Ash should I just look at each other horrified? You're making such noises. I I grab Gregor on the back and uh, run magic through him, uh, trying to enforce the skin around his stomach. I, uh, I step behind Gregor, put both hands on his back and say, Brace yourself! A shock runs through his body as a greenish light snakes its way around his torso. I flex my new hard as steel abs. They were pretty hard before, but now they're actually hard as steel. So you might want to, you know, remove yourself from him? I'll, it? I'll do better that? than that. I'll remove it from me. Same thing! I smack it with my glaive. And I wind up just getting even closer to this monster. My skin is pressed up against its clammy flesh. <clears throat> I crack my knuckles, and a 
burst of dark flame erupts out of one of my sleeves, whir whirling chaotically around one of my hands. Let go of my client, I say, as I sling it headlong at this creature's face. The creature is forced to evade, diving backwards, cloak trailing behind it. The blast travels past him, uh, ricocheting off the wall and flying into this corpse, detonating it, sending blood and bits everywhere. I oh, great. I'm shielded by Ash and Gregor. Uh, I'm shielded by Gregor. I wish I had a shield. Thanks for taking one for the team, Gregor. Anytime! The creature... The creature assumes its stance. Ah, you seem rather attached to your guts. The, the, these others, they just popped right out. Why... Can I, if, if I may ask, why? Why are you so... Uh, protective? I just want to fit him into my drum. I think that they were attached to their guts, too. We need our guts to live. I need your guts to play fantastic music. Do you need our guts specifically? Oh, uh, no, you two, you and the horned man, no, you won't do it all. Your guts are far too polluted. I glance at I Marcus. I look down at my belly and frown. What I'm looking for is pure <laughs> bodies. Like his. He motions towards Gregor. So, I flex again. Putting aside the fact that you just called me unpure, what? 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 The creature swings its drum off of its arm and slams it into the ground. Here, I'll show you. I'll give you a little taste. I plug he my ears. Slaps it with ears. one hand. I plug my ears. Gregor, don't let him do that. Gregor, don't let him do that. You want my guts? You're gonna get them, but not in the way you expect. Because guts as in bravery. I charge forth. <laughs> Racing forward, I aim for his oh-so-precious drum. I will take away from you what you tried to take away from me in a way. It's a metaphor! I look at Marcus. He's awfully fond of those metaphors. I shake my head wildly and mouth some words. I nod. You strike the side of the drum. A shockwave spreads through the ground. It's... it's sickening. You feel your skin crawl. Oh. <coughs> okay. I admit it. It was a bad idea to hit the drum with a really big stick. The creatures behind you begin to move from the ground as if compelled. They rise, their flesh twisting, a bone snapping. My hands fall from my ears and I take a step backward. Marcus and Ash, you feel the pulse travel through you. It connects somewhere in your body and you feel a clash of sorts. Suddenly the taste of metal assails your mouth. The single note travels through you, though you feel no worse for wear. Gregor, <laughs> however, your hands shake. You can no longer hold your spear correctly. You feel compelled to pick up your blade and turn it on your friends. The creatures behind the beast continue to dance, moving forwards. I scramble with my weapon. Uh oh, it's like there's butter everywhere. <laughs> Oh, I can't, I can't hold it up, I can't, guys, I, I'm, can someone pick this up? <coughs> I grab his weapon, get yourself together! I kind of smack him across the back of the head. As I smack him across the back of the head, I run a guide and just throw him. Ow. Where did the butter go? I thrust his spear out, uh, back at him again. Look, you're the ram in this little group we've got going on. You're the bulkhead. Whatever we're up against is going to be slamming against you first. A lot of responsibility. Sure, this isn't the time to be talking about this. You get the gist of it. Stand in front of us. On it. I take another step back. I do too. Wait. Where, where are you guys going? I turn around and watch them. Stand in front of us. You'll be fine. I mean, I don't doubt that, but... Marcus, you got any plans? Gregor, prepare yourself! I cast in large person. Oh, what's happening? Gregor quickly inflates, slamming his head on the roof of the uh, cave. The creature quickly recoils. Magic? Oh, oh, God! Oh, I knew, I knew your guts smelled horrible, oh. but magic, too nasty. Did you <laughs> use magic on me? Yes. Why? Because I could. Listen, guys. Not the time to discuss, uh, violations of personal space. I think now's the time to discuss the fact the dead bodies are about to rip us apart. Does that, does that sound, sound alright with everybody? Oh, they are. How's that sound? They are getting closer at a startling rate. 
How about? How about? Uh. The creature, the creature twists. Ah, magic smells so badly. He slams his drum again. You're overwhelmed for a moment, Marcus and Ash. <laughs> you feel nasty, like you're going to throw up. Gregor drops to his knees, as if compelled. The creature sprints past you, mumbling something about the smell. <laughs> Impure. Wait, I come back. I rise to my feet, belching a small gout of smoke. I uh, clear my throat and spit onto the ground. Gregor turns with the rest of the corpses towards you. Run, 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 run. 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 Guys, where There's no time! How long does that last, Marcus? I don't know if he's gonna fit through the entrance. Really oh. depends. I can... My skin. You'll be fine, buddy. Can you turn it off? Uh, maybe, but I didn't have to concentrate on running for my life right now. That's fair. As you run, you notice Gregor's glaive sweeping back and forth ge uh, in your general direction. <laughs> Run faster! Ah! You made me big. I prefer to be small. As we're as we're running out, I I pay no heed to Gregor's constant uh, whining. I turn to Marcus as we're running and trying to keep my breath. Say so. So you got any ideas as to what we're gonna do with it? We just kind of released the monster onto the world. Wait, I'm not I a monster! Not you, Gregor! I have feelings! You Shut made yourself. me like this! This I... is the metaphor! Shut! I really- Shut! I really have no idea, Ash! I think we should just- I think we should just chase after it and try and stop it from killing as many, many people as we can! 